Me. Hello and welcome to the Chase Aerospace Gaming Channel on YouTube. Uh, this is a really impromptu video, and it's going to go into the um, Game Maker, no, not the Game Maker, the uh, Steam Workshop series that I'm working on right now. Um, but as I've kind of spoiled, the subject of this video is Game Maker and uh, why. Uh, you should use it to play Steam Workshop games. Um, I'm not sure if it's the only way, but it's really the only way that I know how to um, effectively play Steam Workshop games. So you're like, okay, what is Game Maker? I want to play Steam Workshop games, but I don't know how. And so, so we're in Steam, and uh, you see this Game Maker Studio. It's under software. So hold on, let me actually go, like the home page. So this is what you see when you start up Steam, more or less. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to software game development, just like that. Uh, then, yeah, then you're going to search for um, game maker, and it'll be not the $800 one. Don't do that. Game maker studio. <gasps> All right, so it's this thing and it's free so I already have it uh, but you're gonna come down here and you're gonna say use Game Maker Studio and you're gonna hit, hit the button it says free and it'll download it <clears throat> and then after that happens um, in your library it'll be under software because it's not a game so you got your games library crap, you got your games library here that's like this that's where that's where your Skyrim is and all that good stuff but then under software that's where Game Maker Studio is gonna go <clears throat> and then uh I have a, a a desktop go away shadow play. I have a desktop icon down here in the bottom right corner. So you're gonna double click that and this thing pops up. And to play games in the Steam Workshop, you're gonna go to play. And here I've downloaded some games from the Steam Workshop. <clears throat> and uh this game I actually made uh, with a friend. It's pretty. It's pretty simple, but it's it's addicting. You should go try it. <laughs> um, so basically, what you're gonna do once you get to the screen, you're gonna go to Workshop. That'll pull up a window in the Steam Workshop. And then uh, you scroll through here till you find a game that you, that you think looks pretty interesting. Um, what is the Walking Taxi's platformer with a picture of Pooh Bear? I have to play this game. So you click on it, then you hit subscribe. I'll go ahead and subscribe. Probably going to play it sometime. So you subscribe and then minimize this thing. Then at the very bottom this guy. See, and then you hit download and it'll download the game. And then you click play and it starts up the game. It's that simple. Um, game Maker Studio, I forget how long that takes to download. So this video kind of cuts out the download time. But yeah, that's how you do it. So I hope this has helped clear up any uh, confusion that there might be of how to play uh, games in the Steam Workshop. Because there's a lot. I mean, when I say a lot of content, I mean there's a whole lot of content on the Steam Workshop. Just loads and loads. If I could actually get back. Yeah, just just like endless endless games that people have made in their spare time. Some of them are really funny, some of them some of them are are really good and they're just like no one knows about them. So this is important to um, get Game Maker and, and get in here and start playing all these games that don't get the attention they deserve. It'd be doing the indie development industry a great service. So go for it. Alright, thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, uh, click the like button. Chase, you get cookies. I'm getting free cookies as we speak. It's Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. Pumpkin Snickerdoodle. Oh boy. All right, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you later. Bye. Me.